the story. Hey, and then she hey, turned hey. into a tree. Yeah. <laughs> I hated that. My daughter, Catherine, she was like me when I was her age. She was very shy and introverted. And then she, we put her into, well, she and her brother went into the I'm a Bright Kid in 2018. She just is this shy, soft little girl. Um, you could hardly get her to, to look you in the eyes sometimes. Our kids had no experience in the performing arts. So this was quite a new thing for them. The persistence that she had, she was just like, I'm just going to keep trying. I'm just going to keep trying. And the more she tried, I the more Catherine saw that she could. I didn't notice it at first, but after being away from this environment and going back to my usual routine, there was a difference. There was a difference there and a, a good difference. Her willingness to say yes, I think, is probably one of the biggest changes is um, accepting a challenge, knowing that, that this isn't something she may have prepped for, but knowing that she, it's within the realm of possibility. Learning how to, to speak out and speak for myself and express myself uh, more freely. This program has taught me that like, you need to be happy with who you are, that you know, it's okay to you know, be yourself and be different. I think that what makes a difference in the I'm a Bright Kid program are the instructors and the philosophy and the values that they embody um, that comes from Mr. Bright. The whole foundation started when we were cleaning the Castle Auditorium after Mr. Bright had passed away and a bunch of us felt like we needed to get together and do something in his honor. And as we started to formulate what the goals of the foundation should be, one of the strongest components we knew had to be some kind of educational component. We felt like there was something special about how he did it, not just what he did, but how he did it. Because everyone can teach the curriculum, can teach blocking and spacing and, and how to move across the stage, but it was the way that he did it and the culture that he established in his theater that we felt we had a duty to continue. I think the how that makes our program different is rooted in, in Mr. Bright's love for whoever walked through those doors. So for us, we try to love everyone as much as he would have loved them and bring out and encourage and believe in them that whatever we ask of them is, is possible. He, he did that for us. And so we want to do that for others is to draw that out that innate ability that some of them just don't see. Um, they need another ear to whisper in their ears, like, you can do this. You got this. We know you can do it. We've seen you do it. You just don't believe that you can. And to really um, kind of push, push some of these kids over that precipice and then watch them fly. But do it uh, again in, in a way that's so loving and encouraging that you, you, you feel like you can. The I'm a Bright Kid program really strives to make this a safe place for students to feel that they are accepted, that they are loved, that they are cared for, that they are valuable, um, not just because of their talents, but because I'm a Bright Kid really wants to help to raise up good people. They really helped me like grow up and like they also showed like so much love and it's something like really special, I think, about this program. They've worked their butts off to create an environment where kids can just kind of let loose. There is no really, you can't judge anyone because the person next to you is probably just as weird as you. You can't like, you know, be made fun of. It just feels like an environment that I get to go in a way all out. Not all of them love theater. Some of them come in here and they're like, Mom and Dad signed me up for this, and I'm not, I'm not happy about it. But I think through the the love and the care and the the encouragement that the staff gives the students, that they begin to see that this is a safe place. Um, they do believe in themselves, and they begin to form these these bonds. We're all having the same goal, 
to put on a musical and that really helps create this sense of unity between us. The friends that I made here through Mr. Bright, I've carried with me for my whole life practically. Um, I've known them for almost 35, close to 40 years. And to, to watch what happened with us, happened within another group, to see the bond that they have is just so rewarding. It's, it's kind of what he gave us, the, the friends that we made for our lifetime. We're watching these friends, hopefully we'll be friends for a lifetime too. It was like around a year ago and we were messaging and I just asked them, hey, are, can you guys be my best friends? <laughs> Do you guys remember that? And then they both said yes and I felt really awkward about it. But I guess they're like my best friends now. You made them your profile picture. Oh yeah, that's, that's right. True. We we have We're your Instagram. Yeah. Profile. When I think about like in the far future, if I if the people I want to connect with, it would be these these fools. My hopes going forward for Catherine is that she would maintain these great friendships and that she would go forward with confidence that there are other friends to be made and she can continue to believe in herself and believe in the values that the I'm a Bright Kid program instilled in her. I would want to like tell people who want to come into the program like this is where I found myself and you can find whoever you want to be and believe in who like you are and you don't have to be scared of that. I hope that Mr. Bright is looking down and just um, jumping up and down, he would have this little squeal like, and just be so excited for us um, because I think he would feel that he did his, his job without knowing that that was his job, to watch um, the values that he taught us get caught and be passed on. Um, I, I think he would be so happy. That's it for me. <laughs> Thank you.